right? Like, how many people do you know that say they're a deer hunter and they hunt the same stand every year? And lightning struck <laughs> once or twice that stand and it's the big buck stand and they talk about it and everyone draws straws and they want this one stand and that's what they want. And, mm. But, like, there's many years where no one shoots a good one out of there. Yeah. but. When they do, it's a, only this one stand because that's really the travel court. Yada, yada, all this craziness, right? Mm-hmm. Well, what if every year you're you're finding deer in January, February, where they're bedding up, where, where their deer yards are, and you go back as the snow is melting away and you find sheds, and one of them looks to be like a four or five-year-old, and so you mark that location, and as the season progresses and you're starting to track these deer, you got cameras running and you're starting to see these deer moving from a pattern from bedding to feeding. And you, you know, the trails that they're going to be on down to this is where he's at this time, this time, this time. Okay. It's daylight. He's here. He's vulnerable opening day. And you like get him to a point where you have it. So figured out. I don't know how many times I've been told, well, you and your family are so lucky. No, it's like we spend so much time. Oh, it's cheating using cameras. Do you know how hard it is to run cameras? Like everybody, okay, you put some satellites out there. It's not hard to check your cameras. No, if you just put out satellites and then you're just leaving them all year round and you're hoping that a deer goes by, like (laughs) we literally move them around. We literally use them to find the deer and move them through. And like when we're going in the woods, we're going out completely sense safe. I mean, Mm -hmm. this... I remember when I went with 